In this session, I'm going to be covering the Active Machines report. To access this report, you click on the Reports tab, click on Active Machines. The Active Machines report page will open and you will be able to select the corresponding CLA status that you're wanting to report on by ticking either Active, Inactive or Not Installed. You can select all of them if you're wanting a complete report and click on Generate Report. This report is going to give you a list of all the machine names that exist within your Active Directory as well as any machines that have corresponding entries in our databases. So if a machine has been decommissioned, it no longer is used, um, but at some stage it did have CLA, it is going to appear on this report and it will report as inactive on CLA. This report is best used in conjunction with a device listing provided by IT, so you request a list from them of current devices that should have CLA installed and you would be able to look up against this list to see their corresponding CLA status. What you will see in this report is the machine ID, the last user that logged onto that machine and their last sync date. The last sync date is the last date that that machine successfully connected to the CLA databases on the back end and pulled any relevant content um, targeted to that machine. The machine also gives you a breakdown per module of the last date that content was pulled for that module as well as the last date that content displayed for that mo module. So for example, last screensaver pull date will be displayed here, the last time an online screensaver displayed, in other words a screensaver that was sequenced and targeted to this machine, the date will, will correspond here, the last offline screen will be the last time that the screensaver launched but with offline screensaver content, so not sequenced screensaver content. You have also for the various other modules, last pop-up pull, last display, as well as for survey, for desktop, for ticker, and for lock screen. Your screensaver, your desktop, and your lock screen will all have an online as well as an offline last date. You are able to export this report to Excel by clicking on the export button, selecting Excel, it's going to ask you where you would like to save this report. So you would browse on your PC to the location that you're wanting to save it. I'm going to call this one Active Machines 2022. Then open the report from the location that I saved it. going to open it in Excel. Once it opens, you are able to use this data in Excel the same as you would any other data. You're able to include filters if you would like to, um, do lookups against lists provided internally. Uh, you're able to filter out by last sync date, by last screensaver display date, however you want to use this data. Close it, go back into CLA. So this will give you a distinct list of machines in your, in your organization. So if there are multiple users that are log on, logging onto each machine, you will only see an entry for the last of the users that connected to the machine because this report does look at the actual machine name and not at the user name.